Hi guys. Hey, I just wanted to show you how to customize this dugout background. The first thing I want to show you how to do is how to load the action that comes with it. So I'm going to come up to window actions and your action may come up over here and I'm going to pull it out so that I can show you how to load this. You can load actions by dragging them to your Photoshop workspace. But for some reason that never works for me. So I want to show you the other way too, in case it doesn't work for you. So I come to this little menu right here and I come to load actions and then you're going to need to browse to the download that you purchased and it should have an action in it. So I'm going to just going to click that and I'm going to click load and there's my action. So we're going to use that for our text. So when you open the product, it's going to look like this and it's going to have, um, let me get my layers up here. It's going to have all these layers. It's going to have a warm filter, a cool filter, uh, smoke and fog and several layers that you can turn off and on. It has the, your player here, which is the best place to drag your player. It has a back glow or you can add your own. And then it has a hue saturation in case you want to change the color of the background. We have this light, light beams, and a sample text which you'll turn off because you won't be using that obviously. And then the text file that you can change. It has a darken layer for the background and then the background layer. So let me go ahead and show you how to change the text because that's the information that most of you that are more experienced are going to want to know right away. I'm going to come to my text layer and turn it on and I'm going to turn this off. So I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to change the name. Okay. So then all you have to do is come to your action as long as you have this layer selected, which we do and press this little, Oh, you have to come down to this and you press this little play button and it's going to place the text for you. And then you can tweak it however you want. Okay. Make sure you have auto select layer and show transform controls turned on. Oop. Actually, it might be easier to let's get this. Um, and then turn that off and then you can move this around wherever you want it. So you can use this for a name or you can use it for a logo and I'm going to show you a lot more you can do with it, but I wanted to make sure and show that first. All right. So let's go ahead and customize this more. Another thing I didn't mention about the text is that you can, um, I have another text layer in here as well and it's just a different font, but I mean, you can change these to get this to any fonts that you have loaded or want to load. One that I thought might be fun is a graffiti font and they have a whole section for graffiti fonts at defont.com. I'm going to undo this. You might want to make a copy of this so that you have one that is not flattened because the, because the action will flatten that layer but you can change and add, this has a little effects here. You can change the color of this stroke to match the team. If you want a blue, if you want to sample a color and you can change the size of it. Oh, let me click okay here. And then you can change the size. You can turn it off. You can change all of these. All, there's all kinds of things as usual you can do with text. You can, you know, load your own styles and just have a lot of fun with that. Okay. So let's go ahead and start customizing this. I'm going to open my logo and I already made this logo. I have it flattened right here, so I'm going to bring it in. I'm just going to pull this off to the side and I'm just going to drag this layer in. And then I'm going to change it to a smart object. That way, if I continue to resize it up and down, it's not going to affect the quality. It's a non-destructive. I usually try to work non-destructively if I can. In fact, I may, sometimes I even copy it. I like to have lots of backup 
things in case I need to go back and change something. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna make a backup in case I don't wanna like what I did, even though I could go into history and undo it, but if the file closes, my history's gone and then I can't necessarily get out of it. Out of it. So then I come to my action and I'm on my right action here and I'm just gonna press it and now I can resize it. Okay, that's it for this video. In part two, I'm going to go ahead and add the player and finish the composite. So head on over there.